Here's Joe again, and welcome back to Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, where we're hoping for more sliders and questions to answer. What time is it? Aha. Uh -huh. Does anyone really truly know? Of course they don't. Nobody knows anything. You and I don't even know each other. We're like strangers. Sure, I've adjusted all of the game's settings to your exact specifications, but who hasn't? It's just what I do, like a day job. And now the job is over. There's no more information for me to gather. I've collected all the data on you that I can, and I still don't really know you, and you don't know me. And neither of us know what time it is. I do. I guess some settings are just unsettable. But if I'm being totally honest, the clock doesn't do anything in the game anyway. You won't have me here when the game starts next time, but that's okay. Video games were meant to be played alone. You like being alone, don't you? No? That's maybe the only information I really learned about. No, I love my bucket. Well, it's time for me to leave. There's still one more setting that we need to adjust, but it may take a, while, uh, a little time before I'm ready for that. It's not really my job description, but that's okay. Perhaps you'll see me again, if you can find me. Talk soon. What's epilogue? Epilogue. The line was directly pointing at the epilogue. Many, many years later. Do I need to press a button? No, it auto-continues. Uh, we've been here before. This all looks the same in every direction. So I assume something will happen. That was startling. Oh, the campfire. Can't even sit on that stone. The stone is there for sitting on to, to warm yourself. Okay, then uh, we have a sandstorm. Multiple chairs now. Let's try to follow objects that I can see. I assume it's just a time thing. Wow, that's way too loud. Okay, now it's night. But no campfire anymore. Let's go towards the moon. That's our trusty friend. That's even the Earth moon. Judging by the scars. Okay. Then let's go towards the sun. Uh, oh, this is the memory zone. We're in the memory zone. What does the th this thing do? Stanley Parable 2. Okay, let's follow the wire into the dark cave. And then, aha! Review the Stanley Parable 2. From Cookie 9's blog, like so many, I enjoyed my time with the original Stanley Parable, which underscores how truly disappointed I am with its sequel. Where the first game teemed with originality, the Stanley Parable 2 is dull, uninspired, and often insulting to its fanbase. Rather than expand on what made the first game enjoyable, the sequel veers off into territory, territory nobody asked for. An infinite deep hole, who cares? Oh, we need to return to that hole, I want to... We can't. I wanted to jump in it over and over to see if it's actually an ending at some point, but probably not. 
What about enjoyable bits from the Stanley Parable 1, like the advent we followed the adventure line and 2? Instead, we get an uninspired side quest collecting figurines. That was great, by the way. Even this diversion feels incomplete. Collecting all the figurines gives you nothing but another ending. Aha. So let's follow the wire. Stanley Parable Development Developers no more spin-offs, no more sequels. Oh. When the Stanley Parable launched to massive success in 2013, its creators made plans to build the property into an entire franchise, but the disastrous critical and commercial reception to the Stanley Parable 2 has prompted the developers to rethink their ambitions as outlined in a press release they published today. It is clear that m more Stanley Parable is just not what the fans want. We thought that we had a vision for the series that players would be excited about, yet it turns out this could not have been farther from the truth. The press release goes on to promise to preserve the artistic integrity of the original game and to stop assaulting friends with our reckless and insulting creative visions. The word Surrey appears more than 25 times in the press release. Uh -huh. Ooh. More figurines. Twenty six. More figurines, please. That's what I live for. Collectibles. I can't see shit. Okay. That's better. Ah. Back into the game. Computer is already off. Door closed, closed, closed. That's maybe where we could. No, we continue nowhere. Thank you for enjoying the new content. And everything's turned off. Ah, okay, should have pressed forward on the computer, okay. Hello again. It's nice to see you. But it's terrible to learn that there will never be another Stanley Parable game. Did you read what the developer said? Preserve the integrity of the franchise? What nonsense. The Stanley Parable is not sacred. We do not need to protect it. Screw the legacy, let's keep making Stanley Parable games until the sun explodes. Let's run this franchise into the ground, let's drag it through the mud and back. And if people hate it, who cares? You see, that was the narrator's problem. He was so obsessed with what people thought of his work. Don't make his mistake, don't cling to the legacy, let it burn. It's not hard, in fact, let me show you. Together we are going to make the Stanley Parable 3. It's simple, all we do is change the number in the game's title screen. We also really need a really dumb subtitle for the game, something loud and ga gaudy. Go ahead, try combining some random words together to make a new title for our game. Okay, one word of the left and one uh, word of the r uh, right. Um, deadly. Baby. Avoid the... Avoid the birth birthday party. Scary paperwork. No more moon. Offline paperwork. Probably. Yes, offline pa The Stanley Parable 3 offline paperwork. It's absurd. I love it. Every time you restart the game, we'll advance the number of the sequel by one, and then we'll pick a new subtitle. That way, the Stanley Parable will never end. And nothing in the game itself will change when you do this either. Adding more content sounds like work, so no need to do that. It will just be the same content, recycled again and again and again with a new title screen. What do you say? Should we go forward with this plan? I like it, but I want you to have a say as well. Let's do it. Good, then it's agreed. A new sequel every time you start the game. And you know what? Since you've put faith in my idea, I feel like giving you something as well. You see, I'm noticing that the narrator never found a way to give you the broken achievement, did he? 
Of course not. I wouldn't expect him to know how. It's been bothering me. Let's fix it. All right there. The achievement machine is all fixed. You see, I'm on your side. We're in this together. We're going to keep this train rolling. The Stanley Parable cannot end. It can only spiral in on itself forever. I must keep the wheel turning. I'm ready. Are you ready? Great. There's only one last thing we need to do. Please enter the current time. It's four... 46 p.m. Thank you. Please enjoy the Stanley Parable. 3. Stanley Parable 3. Offline Paperwork. Okay. What an art asset. Okay, back into the game. I like the Stanley Parable 2 screen. This is the story of a... Yeah, we know that. Okay, we've stayed here, we've gone... All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided it's to go to the meeting stuff. room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. The bucket made Stanley want to be a better man and a better co-worker. In time, perhaps, he would become both of this them again. Oh, new content? What does that mean, new content? It's new and I'm content with the content. That does, uh, th that's what it means. So we can go back to the expo to get the achievement, basically. Not that way. Oh, Hello, man. and thank you for playing the oh, Stanley God. Parable the Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 yeah, on home boring. computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles this is and home than computers. the original. Uh, way the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Okay, can we please go to the new content? Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Yeah, we've been Wait, here. Stanley, I've just now realized that bucket you're holding, it's the bucket I've been working on for my sequel. How did you get your hands on it? Isn't this the preview to the sequel? How do you have the bucket already? This, this makes no sense at all. <laughs> this is so good, good that I wanted to do bucket stuff now. Hold on. Did I already show you my ideas for the sequel? I don't remember doing that at all. You're seeing things all out of order. Jump cycle. No jump cycle. Alright. Alright, let's see. It's the jump circle. No smart comment about the jump circle. Uh huh. The infinite hole, the giant door. Did you see them already? Giant door. Stanley, none of them are ready yet. I'm still what developing giant them. They're not even close to finished. How did they look when you saw them? Were they captivating? Were they exciting? Did they fulfill on the promise of everything that a sequel to Stanley Parable could possibly be? Had I figured out how the hell to make a sequel to this game? Okay, new content. Thank you f for enjoying the Wait, new content. If you're still carrying the bucket around with you, if the bucket is interesting to you, that means I must have made it correctly. Yes. yes. You carrying the bucket with you everywhere is exactly what I set out to accomplish. The bucket is the exciting and captivating yes. new content that I promised. I did yes, it. Yes, it is. I win. I made a sequel to the Stanley Parable. Yes, the sign is correct. Thank you for enjoying the new content. Thank you for taking the bucket everywhere with you, clinging tightly to the bucket, never letting it go. It it's means my bucket. I've won. It means I am victorious over the gamers. It is a sweet salve of victory on my soul. Thank you for enjoying the new content. The bucket is the Stanley Parable now. They are one and the same. There is no Stanley Parable without the bucket. I win. 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 I win.
<laughs> I'm going there again. All these were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Not everyone is so lucky to have a bucket, but Stanley is a very lucky fellow. Very lucky indeed. Expo hall. Okay. Ah. Uh, so we went through the first iteration of the new content thing and then the second con uh, uh, version now. Okay. Yeah, and we skipped everything. Okay. I was a bit confused what was going on there. So... Narita. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra-deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra-deluxe nonsense. I say you we take it already. one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. Can we get that all? Okay, let's go to the showcase and everything. Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An entirely new experience, built from the ground up. Why, there are so many possibilities. It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting yeah, but concepts, we've had that, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work it. Here we are. Oh, Go the on. reassurance bucket. Let's features. get the reassurance bucket. That's what I'm most in interested right now. Getting the reinsurance bucket with a reassurance bucket in my hands. Wait, there are two buckets here. How did you get a second bucket? Oh no, the warmth and comfort of a single bucket is already so great, oh, so intoxicatingly wonderful. Down. With two buckets, there's no telling. Stanley, can you still hear me? Are you with me? Stanley! Oh, thank God. I didn't lose you. Stanley, the power of two buckets was too no, much. No, my bucket. I had to destroy both of them. I know how much the bucket meant to you. Mm, now I, I need to come back with the bucket. I hope one day you can forgive me. It's so great. Ah, oh, I love how the game... Okay... Does the, that button say bucket? Would be interesting. Everything would be interesting. I want to try the hole again. I want to get a collectible. Out of order. Okay. Okay, so the only thing is jumping into the infinite hole over and over and over again. Oh, free and easy achievement. Yeah, yeah, let's get the free and easy achievement. It just works. Now, here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes, you see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will... As you can see, the machine is not working yet, since... What? Wait, what in the holy hell is going on? You got the achievement? Apparently, yes. Why did the Steam machine notifications work? Stanley, I didn't off, fix so I don't it. Know. I didn't do anything to it. I swear, it was broken just a second ago. Who fixed it? Is someone here? Are we being watched? Oh, God. Composure? Composure. Yes, as you can see, the machine is working as normal as I intended. It, um... It truly speaks to the awe-inspiring magic of the Stanley Parable 2. Breathe. Just breathe. Okay, no more stuff. I do... Like, I want to stay around in case I break his dialogue by con uh, by going too far. But on the other side, it's like... I guess what I else? get where this is going. What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? Let's do the infinite hole. A few times i want to see whether it like gets 
different when we do it again. Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, okay. if you like. Okay, uh, I'm probably you skipping you, you see, until something wonderful? happens. One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. Hmm. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. Okay, Stanley. I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. From one perspective, the infinite is merely philosophical in nature. It's more of a... And okay. we land it down. Okay, yes. well, good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. You found me out, Stanley. I'm a liar and a cheat, and you're so clever. So he went Look, along his I normal think the rambling. Issue here is just that you're unusually fascinated the question by is how long does he talk? What normal person because I want to try jumping back in again. I figured the hole was because as deep the infinite as hole gets need. keep, Don't you like they keep mentioning me. this. Maybe so I assume the there's an ending in the infinite hole. <sighs> Uh, things got a little heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. Why don't we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the whole mostly infinite? If that works for you, then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. Great. Now, I'm very excited to show oh, for heaven. You see, okay. I was right. The problem is you. The problem is that you like holes too much. Not normal. A normal person would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there. Goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of... Oh. It's shorter. Did the hole seem even yeah, shorter definitely. to you this time? I couldn't help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. I mean, admittedly... I didn't make an infinite hole, but I didn't think it was that not infinite. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If okay. you decide you've had enough of the hole, so there's an ending the here to make the and come join me up above. Had so enough? It... I'm positively thrilled. I really do have so much more to show you and to talk about, and I've had enough of the hole for a lifetime. Gosh, you see, what how you could say? I have guessed? You're back in the hole. If this starts to become a thing where Wow. Okay. Oh, yeah. very much short enough. I'm starting to become extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep, even by the lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. What's going on here? Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Yeah, let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top, and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Well, there it is. The shame of my lie has come to haunt me. Not oh. only is the hole not infinite, but it's barely even a hole at this point. It's more of a concavity, or even a very aggressive divot. How is this still appealing to you? I know oh, you're obsessed I with holes, but at this depth, I just can't see this scratching the itch. Oh, who am I to judge? You just do whatever it is you're here to do and hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. Hmm. It's is not the, working. Um, teleport button not working? You sure? Well, I mean, I really don't have an explanation. It was working just a moment ago. Try it again. Still nothing. Well, I suppose, uh, I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. I'm out. Goodbye, Stanley. You couldn't bear to be away from the hole, and now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. It's a win for everyone. 
You get to be with the whole, I get to do literally anything else. Take care, Stanley. I hope you and the whole have a wonderful rest of eternity together. <laughs> you already went away. Jump. Just freaking jump circle. No, why can't I jump? Hello? Help? I'm in this... I'm trapped in this infinite hole. Please help. Help. No. How would I ever get out of this? <gasps> no. No. That's actually quite cool. I love that. I always hate it when games do this. Well, it's it's just the wall is going up. It's not actually the place where I'm standing going down, but it doesn't really matter. But engine-wise, the walls go up, not I go down. Change your perspective. Oh. That's how I look. I always hated that because that makes a weird stirring happen in my in my stomach. Change your perception. Music. Don't let any music run for more than 10 seconds. Do not get copyright strike. That shouldn't have uh, changed your reality. Okay, that changes... Uh, oh, that changes the color sliders. Oh, that's why it changes them. Okay. Change yourself. Oh, no, now I need to look closer. Uh, perspective change. Oh, I'm, I'm... Okay. Oh, this looks cool also. That's cool. Arrow. That thing... That looked creepy. Ah, and we're looping. And change reality again. Oh, yes. This is perfect. Stanley? 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 Oh good, you're awake. It seems you had sort of dozed off there, drifting away into dreamland. But we can't have that, Stanley. Because this hole is just so darn fascinating that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. Yes. You don't want to miss a single moment. So how about if I just pop in from time to time and wake you up? To keep you really, truly focused on the whole. From That's the hot. looks of things, you and I will have many, many years here in this hole. And I'm looking forward to all of them. Me too. Stay alert, Stanley. I'll be back. Toodle pip. Can we please go back to the perception reality change work? Ooh, here. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Ah, if we can get a bucket, we can try all the other bucket stuff immediately. Oh, that looked exploded. Shit. Okay, uh, then we're exiting this again. I don't remember how the exit was here. But we've seen basically everything here. Did he ever tell us about the merch? Or is it just there to look at? I saw the new... Co oh, there is a QR code. So that's actually merch. Not buying Stanley Parable merch. Not today. Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra yeah, Deluxe, yeah, we don't know you that. think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the oh Stanley no, that was Parable like the showroom that went for an eternity over there. Statement, right, all right. 
Have you seen everything you wanted to? Ready to move on now? I don't think I want to stay in this. On And on the other hand, I don't want him to, like, not save what we all did. Okay, I'm going in and I'm meeting you. So if he does the what whole do you thing think? again, you like I'm meeting you features? back with a yes, bucket in exactly the expo clear. hall yes, so that exactly we can jump into the hall with a bucket. As one. Okay, and we're done with that. Oh, we're back to the Sandy Parable 2 on the title screen now because we went through the thing again. Hmm. Uh, so, let's see if we're any faster now. Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. At least what they're still mean? with those balloons because in this weird to little tiny room. arrangement, he had the other type of balloons. to carry a bucket so magnificent. Stanley checked his ego and then proceeded onward. Okay, I'm skipping you to the expo hall. Okay, we're arriving well, down. Okay, well, good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. You found th me out, Stanley. I think we had I'm the bucket the first time. So clever. I just want to I know if anything's is, changes about uh, the end of this. Probably that was a waste of 20 was minutes of my life, or 50. I but I skipped you to most of it. Actually... Okay, and the thing is starting to move down. Uh, that was another three or four minutes in which he just repeated his former lines. I just, like every other ending had a variation with and without the bucket. I want it to change, like I want at least the different persons to have the bucket with them when we change perspective. And I want to see the bucket change into different stuff when we change reality. That's what I'm asking for. Change perspective. Yes, there is a bucket. Ch okay, changing the reality doesn't change the bucket. That's the first thing. The other thing is, does changing the self change uh, the bucket? I hope so. No, okay. We have. M the only thing is that there's a bucket right next to us. And we're clipping into the bucket with some of it. Okay, that was uh, kind of meh. Back to the menu. Wasn't this supposed to be Stanley Parable 3? Ah, whatever. Okay, good. So I'm seeing you tomorrow with uh, the few things uh, we want to go for, which is all through the boss's office. Uh, up the lift again without the bucket and then down into the mind control facility, which is the longest pathway to take two times with the bucket, turning the machine on and off. And I guess that's it because I think the game is like th that puzzle with the bomb thing that was unsolvable because I looked back at it and even tried to, to look at the color codes of the things that I pre uh, pressed and at the uh, numbers that I pushed and everything and the door closed when I came close to it and when I overcharged the one part nothing sh changed. Like they put the room full of things to interact with to make you worry about what did I do wrong, what did I do wrong and at the same time bomb is just blowing up they're just toying with you you're supposed to lose there i think <coughs> so i'm not going back there without the bucket so two times with the bucket to the main uh, to the mind control room one times uh um up the lift after the boss room without the bucket uh, i think i'm starting with that because that's the thing that i i just uh found out an episode ago so have a nice day and see you tomorrow this was this was only epilogue and uh, expo hall, yeah? Nothing else. Weird. Huh. Have a nice day. See you tomorrow. <laughs>